heads up. See, Priest still leaves it away. Oh, you're talking about this? He doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to show them that he's on the time. So he wants to make them look for him. Because he's gotten out. So look, look at what happens here. So like, they're on old, they're on the rotation. They get two down. So he knows that they're all going to be trying to break. And he gets the calm that, that Boston spawned Palace here. So he's like, I have to stay alive. These guys have to stay alive if they want to make this mixing and not make it a free rotation for, for, Boston, or for Minnesota. So in this scenario, they don't know where Priesta is. He could, be, he could be Mannequin. He could be Laundry. He could be Gas. He could be Inside Blue. He could be back here. He could be on time if you wanted to. But the thing is, by being on time, you're giving them UAV. You're giving them an idea or the exact idea of where you are because you're on time. So they know you can only be in this specific area. But if you hide in this little corner, which he does in this little like cubby over here, you're not on time. So they don't know that you're in that position. So he doesn't even get initial time. He just, he literally doesn't even get on the time because he needs to stay alive to make sure that the rotation is mixy because his team spawned out. If they don't spawn out here, they're, I mean, if, if Boston was still spawning mannequin or whatever, he just gets on time. He's just not getting on time because his team has spawned out. So he wants to make these guys look for them or look for him. Look at, look at how much time they're taking. They don't know where they're at. They're looking everywhere. Look at, look at these Minnesota arrows, guys. They don't know. They know they're missing two. They just don't know where they're at. And both of them are hiding. So they're, the, what, this, what this is doing is because they're hiding, they have to take so much time to look for them and check all these angles and different things on this side of the map so that number one, number three can get some more time to get back into the fight because they spawn in the fucking Narnia. But if Boston wasn't in the league, would they still do this play? I think they still do this play because their teammates spawn way the fuck out. Because this is, in my opinion, the most optimal way to play this because you need to stay alive as long as possible for your team. You do not want to give them the free kill on you on time, knowing where you are, and then they only have to look for one other guy because they know you're on time. Now they have to look for two guys. They're buying time. These guys can break you know, from wherever, but they, they're, these guys are on a, a time bomb. Think about it this way. There's a time bomb that's ticking and they need to get these kills or salvage like these two kills before these guys come off spawn and shoot them in their back. But they don't know where these two guys are. So they need to clear every, every angle. Like look at, look at, literally look at Minnesota's arrows right here. Look at all their arrows and they're, look how like everyone's clearing all these different angles. They don't know where any of them are. Look at number eight. He's clearing everything. Now Asim shoots, they know where he is. Priesta gets a free kill because they don't know where he is. And that buys time. I mean, instantly. This is, this is an ideal winning scenario. This is a great play, I think. Because think about it. They spent so much time looking for Boston. Number one comes off spawn. Snoopy gets a kill. Priesta gets a kill. Now they're spawning gas. Number three is taking a route to help towards this A Street side. And Priest is now on time. And they're all spawning in the back. You know, so it's a good play because simply because your teammates spawned out and they know that Minnesota needs to look for you before they actually get onto the hill. Get it now? Hey. We're, we're teaching out here.